ili tuweze kuona cause our ears to hear sababisha masikio yetu kusikia touch our lives guza maisha yetu confirm your word thibitisha neno lako be glorified tukuzwa in jesus name kwa jina la yesu amen 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 like i've always said kama vile uanasema mara kwa mara reverend friend and your wife we are so happy for you reverend friend na mke wako tunafuraha sana kwa ajili yenu There are things you don't say in in private. Kuna mambo ambayo huwa usemi sirini. You say in public. Unasema mbele ya watu kwa wazi. It's 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 more than I think 8 years now. Ni zaidi ya miaka 8 sasa. Since God established in my heart. Kabla Mungu adhibitisha katika moyo wangu. It is you kwamba ni wewe that your brothers will praise. Ambaye ndugu zako watasifu. It is you that your brothers will praise. Ni wewe ndugu zako watasifu. I don't know whether you have a problem with that. That's why you are not clapping. Sijui kama mnashinda na jambo hilo. It is you that your brothers will praise. Ni wewe ndugu zako watasifu. The Lord sent me some years back. I, I think we were in Mesako then. Bwana alituma miaka mingi imepita tukiwa Mesako. And he opened my eyes. Na kafungua macho yangu. On the blessing of Judah. Juu ya baraka ya Yuda. Fathers don't discriminate. Mababa huwa wa wa pendelei. But genuine fathers follow the pattern of God as it relates to their to their children. Lakini mababa wa kweli huwa wanafuata utaratibu wa Mungu kuhusiana na watoto wao. Before Jacob died, kabla Yakobo afe, he called all his sons. Aliita watoto wake wote. And it is amazing that he talked to all of them. Na ni jambo la ajabu kwamba aliwazungumzia wote. And he did not tell them the same thing. Na kuambia kitu kilichofanana. That is a spiritual father. Huyo ni baba wa kiroho. That is a father that is not just a father he is a spiritual man. Huyo ni mbaba ambaye ni mtu wa kiroho. It still remains the same. Bado inabaki vivyo hivyo. It is your it is you that your brothers will repent. Ni wewe ambaye ndugu zako watasifu. And because it is established by God. Na kwa sababu imedhibitishwa na Mungu hivyo. There is nothing any devil or anybody can do about it. Hakuna kitu shetani ama mtu yeyote anaweza fanya kuhusu jambo hilo. We are happy for you. Tunakufurahikia because of the way you love God. Kwa sababu ya njinzi unavyompenda Mungu. Together with your family. Pamoja na familia yako. And the way you serve God. Na njinzi unatumikia Mungu. And the way you are sold out to the things of God. Na njinzi umenyenyekea sana kwa mambo ya Mungu. You see genuine fathers. Mababa wa kweli treat their children wao wanachukulia watoto wao not according to what they have sio kulingana na kile walicho nacho but according to their ways lakini kulingana mienendo yao that's a genuine father huyo ni baba wa kweli it's just begun imeanza tu amen this man mwezi huu hata kama tuko katikati is a very important man hata kama tuko katikati ni mwezi muhimu sana so don't take it lightly usichukulie mwezi wa kawaida In my program, katika program yangu, even Rev knows that. Hata referenda anajua hivyo. It was not in the plan for me to be here at a time like now. Haikuwa katika mpango niwe mahali hapo wakati kama huu. But this man he has God. Lakini huyu mtu usikia Mungu. He kept insisting. Aliendelea kutilia mkazo. I'm looking for one to see. Natazamia kuona the testimonies that are coming. Shuhuda ambazo zinatokea hapa. Yes. I came with my wife. Nilikuja na mke wangu. Seems like she is getting taller. Nakani kama anarefuka. Let her wave again. Acha atupungie mikono tena. Yes. Please let's take our seats. Tafadhali tuketi. These three days, 
siku hizi tatu we will not leave you the same azitakuacha vile umelikuwa do you really believe that unaamini hivyo yes these three days siku hizi tatu we will not leave us the same azitatuacha vile tulivyokuwa god will bless us greatly mungu atatubariki kwa njia kuu and we will be glorified in this place na tatukuzwa mahali hapa It's amazing that the messages God gives me for Chuka ni jambo la ajabu kwamba jumbe ambazo Mungu unipa kwa kanisa la Chuka. I don't get those kind of messages anywhere else. Huwa sipati jumbe kama hizo mahali kwingine. Hallelujah. No is true. Ni ukweli. And you see I was telling another man of God I don't go through the Bible to look for messages. Kuna mtumishi wa Mungu nilikuwa naambia kwamba uasipitii Biblia kutafuta ujumbe. I get my messages in very interesting ways. Huwa napata njumbe zangu kwa njia za ajabu sana. And then I go to the Bible to confirm. Kisha naenda kwa Biblia kudhibitisha. That is how I operate. Hivyo ndivyo huwa nafanya kazi. <laughs> yes. So Exodus chapter 3 kutoka sura ya tatu. Exodus chapter 3 kutoka sura ya tatu. We read from verse 1. Tusome kutoka mstari wa kwanza. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro his father-in-law basi Musa alikuwa anachunga mifugo ya Yethro mkwewe the priest of Midian kwani wa Midian yes and he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Oreb the mountain of God na Musa akapeleka mifugo mbali nyuma ya njangwa naye akafika Horebu mlima wa Mungu and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush na malaika wa Bwana akamtokea Musa katika katika mwali wa moto kutoka kichakani. So he looked and behold the bush was burning with fire but the bush was not consumed. Musa akaona kwamba ingawa kile kichaka kilikuwa kinawaka moto kilikuwa akiteketei. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush does not burn. Ndipo Musa akawaza akasema nitageuka sasa nione kitu hiki cha ajabu nami nione ni kwa nini kichaka hiki akiteketei. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look God called to him from the midst of the bush and said Moses Moses and he said here I am. Bwana alipoona kuwa amegeuka ili aone Mungu akamwita kutoka ndani ya kile kichaka Musa Musa naye Musa akanjibu mimi hapa God stays even in the bush Mungu kata kichakani He called from the bush Alitana kutoka kwa kichaka So when you find yourself in the bush Kwa hivyo ukinjipata kichakani you are not very far from God Hauko mbali sana na Mungu Then he said do not draw near this place kisha akamwambia usikaribie mahali hapa take your sandals off your feet toa vua viatu vyako kutoka miguuni mwako for the place where you stand is holy ground maana mahali unaposimama ni patakatifu moreover he said i am the god of your father the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob kisha akamwambia mimi ni Mungu wa baba yako Mungu wa Abrahamu Mungu wa Isaka na Mungu wa Yakobo and Moses in his face na Musa akaficha uso wake for he was afraid to look upon God kwa sababu aliogopa kumtazama Mungu and the Lord said I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt Bwa, na akamwambia hakika nimeona mateso ya watu wangu walio Misri and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters na nimesikia kilio chao kwa sababu ya wasimamizi wao for for i know their sorrows 
Kwa sababu najua mateso yao. So I have come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians. Basi nimeshuka ni waokoe kutoka mkono wa Wamisri. And to bring them up from that land to a good and large land to a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites and the Etites and the Amorites and the, ah, there are so many ites <laughs> and the Perizzites and the Evites and the Jebusites ni watoe na kuwapandisha kutoka inji hiyo ni wapeleke katika inji nzuri na kubwa inji itiridikayo maziwa na asali inji ya wakanani waiti wa amori wa perizi wa hivi na wayebusi like I've always said that when you visit your son you don't come to prove anything. Kama vile nimekuwa nikisema kwamba unapotembelea mwanao huwa hukunji kuonyesha kitu chochote. So I'm not here to prove that I'm anointed. Kwa hivyo sijakuja kuonyesha kwamba nimetiliwa mafuta. I'm not here to prove that I'm powerful. Sijakuja kuonyesha kwamba nina nguvu. I'm here just to be a blessing. Niko hapa tu kuwa baraka. Yes, just to be a blessing. Kuwa tu baraka. So allow me. Kwa hivyo nikubalie. When you see some changes, ukiona mabadiliko fulani, realize that as you grow changes come. Gundua kwamba unapokuwa mabadiliko uja. But the end is still sharp. Lakini makali bado yapo. <laughs> right. I have a, a simple me message I want to share with us. Nina unjumbe rais nataka kushiriki nasi. Very interesting. Wakupendeza sana. Experience your burning bush. Pa kuwa na patano na kichaka chako kinachowaka moto. Experience your burning bush. Pa kuwa na patano na kichaka chako kinachochomeka. From the story we have read kutoka kwa andithi ambayo tumesoma we realize a number of things tunagundua mambo kadhaa and we are going to look at them and then we are going to pray na tutayatazama kisha tutaomba is that okay hiyo iko sawa number 1 jambo la kwanza the burning bush is the initiative of god kichaka kinachowaka moto ni jambo ambalo limeanzilishwa na Mungu it was not the initiative of moses alikuwa jambo lilianzishwa na Musa it was not the plan of moses alikuwa mpango wa Musa moses only aligned himself Musa alinjiweka kwa mpango tu to experience the burning bush ili awe na patano na kichaka hiki so i have come to encourage us kwa hivyo nimekuja kuahimiza to align ourselves tujiweke kwenye mpango because there is a burning bush maana kuna kichaka kinawaka moto that god want us to experience ambacho mungu anataka tuwe na patano nacho it was the initiative of god ulikuwa ni jambo la kuanzilishwa na mungu it was not the initiative of moses alikuwa jambo la kuanzishwa na musa number 2 it was in the timing of god jambo la pili ni kwamba ilikuwa katika wakati wa mungu it was not the timing of moses haikuwa ni wakati wa musa when moses left home that day musa alipondoka nyumbani ile siku he never knew that these things will happen hakujua kwamba mambo haya yatatokea it was not his time haikuwa ni wakati wake it was god's time ilikuwa ni wakati wa mungu i strongly believe naamini kwa nguvu sana it is your time kwamba ni wakati wako it is god's time for you kwamba ni wakati wa mungu kwako i said it is god's time for you ni wakati wa mungu kwako i said it is god's time for you nasema ni wakati wa mungu kwako can you lift up your hand and say it is my time it is my time If we will experience our burning bush kama tutapatana kuwa napatana kichaka chetu kinachowaka there are certain characteristics god is looking at kuna tabia fulani ama sifa fulani mungu anatafuta number 1 we must be observant ya kwanza lazima tuwe watu waangalifu moses saw Musa aliona the sight at a distance. Aliona jambo lile kutoka kwa umbali. There are things you can see. Kuna mambo uweziona if you are here and there. Kama uko huku na kule, you must be observant. Lazima uwe mwangalifu. Number 2 you must be interrogative. 
Jambo la pili lazima uwe mtu wa kuchunguza. You must be interrogated. Lazima uwe mtu wa kuchunguza. You must ask the right question. Lazima uulize maswali yanayostahili. Moses kept asking. Musa alikaa akiuliza. What is this? Nini iki? How is it that the bushes burning? Inawezekana aje kichaka kinawaka moto. And it is being consumed. Na kiteketei. If you ask the right question. Kama utauliza maswali yanayofaa. You will get the right answers. Utapata majibu yanayofaa. You must interrogate what is happening around your family. Lazima uchunguze nini kinatendeka kwa familia yako. You must interrogate what is happening around your life. Lazima uchunguze nini kinatendeka katika maisha yako. Now, listen to this. Sikiza hii. Though the burning bush was the initiative of God. Hata kama kichaka kilichokuwa kinawaka moto ilikuwa ni mpango wa Mungu. It turned out that the bush was for Moses. Iligeuka kuwa kichaka kilikuwa cha Musa. Did you hear that? Umesikia hivyo? I hope you got that. Natamani umetaka. Because if you miss that you miss everything. Maana ukikosa hiyo utakosa kila kitu. It was the initiative of God. Ilikuwa ni jambo ya kuanzishwa na Mungu. It was the timing of God. Ulikuwa ni wakati wa Mungu. It was the plan of God. Ulikuwa ni mpango wa Mungu. But the burning bush. Lakini kichaka kilichowaka. Was for Moses. Kilikuwa cha Musa. So every one of us kwa hivyo kila mmoja wetu God has organized a burning bush specifically for you Mungu amepanga panga kichaka kinachowaka moto kwa ajili yako You must experience it Lazima uwe na patano nacho I told you if you see changes Niliwaambia mkiona mabadiliko you relax Tulia We are full of surprises. Tumenjawa mambo ya kushangaza. Now, sasa I want to explain to us why we need to experience a burning bush. Nataka kutuelezea kwa nini tunastahili kuwa na patano na kichaka kinachowaka. Why is it that important? Kwa nini ni muhimu sana? What is it in it? Nini kiko ndani yake? And let me say this before I move on. Naacha niseme hivi kabla niendelee. Most of the great things that God has done. Mambo mengi makuu ambayo Mungu ameyatenda do not necessarily have the physical manifestation. Kwa kwa wingi kwa mara nyingi haikuwa na mambo ya kuonekana kwa macho ya kawaida. Look, tazama. In this whole episode, katika jambo hili lote that turned the shepherd ambayo iligeuza mchungaji the shepherd of sheep mchungaji wa kondoo into a prophet akawa nabii into a judge akawa hakimu into a great deliverer akawa mkombozi mkuu there was no folly hapakuwa samani there was no folly hakukuwa na kuanguka samani there was no shaking hakukuwa na kutingizika and great things happened na mambo makuu that instance na mambo makuu yalitendeka pale let me tell you acha niwaambie these three days siku hizi tatu the kind of the experiences that will happen in your life aina ya matukio yatakayotendeka kwa maisha yako your history will change historia yako itabadilika Nothing we see physically happening. Hakuna kitu kwa macho ya kawaida tunaona kinatendeka. But great things are happening in this episode. Lakini mambo makuu sana yanatendeka kama hali hapa. Yes. So why is it that you need a burning bush? Kwa you are own burning bush. Kwa nini unahitaji kichaka chako mwenyewe kinachowaka moto? What happened in the burning bush? Nini utendeka katika kichaka kinachowaka moto? If we get time we will mention maybe two or three of them. Tukipata wakati tutatanja tatu ama mbili ama tatu. And the things that happened to Moses from that burning bush. Na mambo yaliyotendekea Musa kutoka kwa kile kichaka will happen to you too. Yatakutendekea. Because what he has spoken to one Maana kile amenenea mmoja He is speaking to all Ananenea wote So the things that happened to Moses Mambo yaliyomtendekea Musa from that burning bush kutoka kwa hicho kichaka will happen to you Yatakutendekea Can somebody say an amen for that Sema amina 
the number one thing that happened to Moses. Jambo la kwanza lililotendekea Musa. In that from that burning bush. Kutoka hicho kichaka kilichowaka moto. Is that Moses experienced new introductions. Ni kwamba Musa alipata utangulizi mpya. <laughs> new introductions. Utangulizi mpya. You will get in a short while. Utaelewa kwa muda mfupi. And this room will catch fire. Na mahali hapa patashika moto. Trust me. Niamini. Now, give us I think verse 3. Tupewe mstari wa 3. Then Moses said, I will now turn a sign and see this great sight. Kisha Musa akasema kwamba nitageuka nione jambo hili la ajabu. Why the bush does not burn? Kwa nini kichaka akiteketei? Continue. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside. Bwana alipoona kwamba amegeuka. To look. Kutazama. God come to him. Mungu akamuita. From the midst of the bush. Kutoka kwa kile kichaka. And say. Akasema. Moses. Musa. Moses. Musa. And he said. Na akasema. Here I am. Niko hapa. Realize. Gundua hivi. That Moses does not say. Kwamba Musa asemi. Here I am Lord. Niko hapa Bwana. Because he doesn't know that Lord. Maana juu hiyo Bwana. He has come from Egypt. Ametoka Misri. Before he even left Egypt. Kabla atoke Misri. Moses was being trained to become a witch. Musa alikuwa anapitia mafundisho ya kuwa mchawi. Because you could not become a pharaoh without being trained witchcraft. Maana ungefanyika farao Misri bila kufunzwa mambo ya uchawi. In fact, until today. And leo. In the in the world of witchcraft. Katika ulimwengu wa kiuchawi. There are books they use that were written by Moses. They are called the seven books of Moses. Kuna vitabu anavyotumia viliandikwa na Musa vinaitwa vitabu saba vya Musa. So the man was no godly to that point. Kwa hivyo yule Musa hakuwa na uungu kwa hicho kitu. He kwa. never knew the God of the Bible to that point. Hakuwa anajua Mungu wa Biblia kwa hicho kiwango. That is why the very first thing God is doing here. Ndio maana jambo la kwanza Mungu kufanya hapa. Verse 5. Mstari wa 5. Then he say, Kisha akasema, Do not draw near the this place usikaribie mahali hapa let's go to verse 6 twende mstari wa 6 moreover he said kisha akasema i am mimi ni the god of your father mungu wa baba lako you have never known me before hautaninjua mbeleni i there is somebody sitting here na kuna mtu ameketi hapa the god of miracles mungu wa miujiza the god of the bible mungu wa biblia the god of the church mungu wa kanisa will introduce himself into your life atanjielezea katika mai- Where he introduce himself into your issues. Atanjielezea katika hali zako. Somebody say introduction. Sema utangulizi. I am the God of your fathers. Mimi ni Mungu wa baba yako. So God is introducing himself to Moses. Mungu anajielezea kwa Musa. I come as a voice from heaven. Nimekuja kama sauti toka mbinguni. To announce to someone. Kutangazia mtu. As this season begins. Kama vile majilai yanapoanza. There will be new introductions in your Life. Great people will be introduced to you. Watu wakuu wataletwa kwako. Great opportunities will be introduced to you. Nafasi kuu zitaletwa kwako. I come as a voice from heaven. Nimekuja kama sauti ya mbinguni. Where you are not known. Mahali ya kujulikana. This time. Uwakati. There will be a voice from heaven. Kutakuwa na sauti ya mbinguni. Introducing you. Nikikutanguliza. New introduction. Utangulizi mpya. I want to give three people your testimony. Nataka upatie watu watatu ushinda wako. Tell them. Waambie hivi. It is your time. Ni wakati wako for introduction. Wakupewa utangulizi. It is your time. Ni wakati wako for introduction. Wa utangulizi. <laughs> Amen. 
He said, I know. Akasema, najua. You don't know me. Aunijui. You have not heard about me. Aunjanisikia. You have never seen my works. Yona kazi zangu. I introduce. Najielezea. I introduce myself. Najielezea kwa. And I introduce you. Na nakutanguliza pia. To another realm. Kwa kiwango kingine. You have been in the realm of the sheep. Umekua kwa kiwango cha kondo. I introduce you to the realm of the nation. Na kuleta kwa kiwango cha mataifa. You have been in the realm of one family I introduce you to the realm of a nation the introduction God is doing for you will expand you will enlarge your course will enlarge your perimeter somebody say introduction introduction I declare in the name of Jesus may you be introduced to the national government may you be introduced to the county government may you be introduced to the people that matter may you be introduced where it matters somebody shout introduction amen Please sit down. To Kate. I am the God Mimi ni Mungu. of your fathers. Wa baba zako. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Ibrahimu. The God of Isaac. Mungu wa Isaac. And the God of Jacob. Na Mungu wa Yakobo. He is introducing. Listen. Skiza. <laughs> Listen. You can introduce yourself. Unaweza njielezea and nothing much happens. Na kuna kitu kikubwa kitatendeka. But when greatness introduces you. Lakini wakati ukuu unakuelezea. Your story changes. Hadithi yako inabadilika. Do you understand? Unaelewa? I am the God Mimi ni Mungu of your father. Wa baba yako. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Ibrahimu. The God of Isaac. Mungu wa Ishaka. The bunny bush kichaka kinachoaka introduced God to Moses. Kilielezea Mungu kwa Musa. Look. Tazama. Can you imagine this short episode? Tukio hili fupi. A man that has never heard about this God. Mtu ambaye hajawahi sikia kuhusu huyu Mungu. By the time he is going back to Egypt. Kwa wakati alipokuwa anarudi Misri. No Bible school. Hakuna kwenda chuo cha Biblia. No training, hakuna mafundisho. No teaching, hakuna mafunzo aliyopitia. God just introduces himself. Mungu alinjielezea mwenyewe. That is what will happen to you. Hicho ndicho kitakutendekea. What would have been done in 10 years? Kile kingefanyika kwa muda wa miaka 10. One introduction. Utangulizi moja tu. We will make it happen. Kita utafanya itendeke. One introduction utangulizi moja and turns a man ukabadilisha mtu into something different akawa kitu tofauti one introduction utangulizi moja a man who had never heard about god mtu ambaye hakuwa isikia kuhusu mungu a man who was pursuing mtu ambaye alikuwa anafuata and you see when moses wakati Musa Egypt. wakati Musa alitoka Misri he had already become very prominent tayari alikuwa amekuwa mtu mkuu sana he was being trained to become the next pharaoh alikuwa anapitia mafunzo ya kuwa farao so he doesn't know the god of the bible kwa hivyo anjui chochote kuhusu Mungu wa Biblia so god kwa hivyo Mungu let me tell you acha niwaambie when god is introducing himself wakati mungu ananjielezea mwenyewe he is not introducing his name huwa aelezei jina lake he is introducing his character anaelezea tabia yake when he says i'm the god of your father abraham akisema mimi ni mungu wa baba yako ibrahim he is telling moses anaambia musa i picked one man nilichukua mtu mmoja i made a nation out of it nikafanya taifa kutoka kwake the bible says in the book of isaiah biblia inasema katika kitabu cha isaia remember i called abraham alone kumbuka kwamba nilimuita ibrahim peke yake and blessed him nikambariki 
He's telling Moses, Musa, I know you have interacted with God. But this one is different. This one e, is the only God. Mungu peke. <laughs> God introduced himself. Mungu as you sit here tonight, hapa usiku wa leo, there is a grace coming upon you. Kuna neema you will see the way God will introduce himself in your family. Utaona vile mungu kwa familia yako. One introduction utangulizi moja tu we will cause that family to experience things they have never experienced utasababisha hiyo familia ipate mambo ambayo hajawahi ipata god introduced himself mungu kujielezea mwenyewe from the bush kutoka kwa kichaka not from heaven sio kutoka mbinguni from the bush kutoka kwa kichaka so you are burning bush. Is that important? That is where your introduction lies. Look at somebody and tell them you need it. No, 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 tell them you need that experience. So you need the experience of your burning bush. Number two in the introduction. Jambo la pili katika utangulizi. From the bush. Kutoka kwa kichaka. God introduced to Moses. Mungu alielezea kwa Musa new relationships. Mahusiano mapya. I disconnect you. Na kutenganisha from Egypt. Kutoka Misri. I connect you. Na kuunganisha with a new profitable relationship. Na mahusiano mapya yanayokufaindi. You know the God of Pharaoh. Unajua Mungu wa Farao. Now I'm disconnecting you from that. Sasa na kutenganisha na hiyo. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Ibrahim. The God of Isaac. Mungu wa Ishaka. I am praying for you. Na kuombea that after these three days. Kwamba baada ya siku hizi tatu. The kind of relationships God will give you. Aina ya mahusiano Mungu atakupa. Will change your life forever. Itabadilisha maisha yako milele. May God give you profitable relationships. Acha Mungu wakupe mahusiano yanayokufaidi profitable connections maunganisho yanayokufaidi i'm getting you out of the circle of the egyptians na kutoa kwa kikundi cha wa misri i'm connecting you to the circle of the greats na nakuunganisha kwa neema when we talk about Abraham, God refund Abraham as his friend. Mungu alimuita Ibrahim rafiki yake. I'm getting you out of the lineage of witchcraft. Na kutoa kwa kizazi cha uchawi. And connecting you to the lineage of God's craft. Na kuunganisha kwa kizazi cha Mungu. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Ibrahim. Let me tell you. Acha niwaambie. Today, leo in a relationship kila uhusiano that is draining you ambaye inakunyonya nguvu and sucking life from you na inatoa uhai ndani yako and eating from you unnecessarily na inakukula isivyo stahili and is unprofitable haikufaidi i disconnect you from there na kutenganisha kwa hiyo i yo. disjoin you from those relationships na kutenganisha na hiyo mahusiano and as a prophet of god na kama nabii wa mungu i join you na kuunganisha with the glue of the Holy Ghost to the relationships that matter relationships that will profit you relationships that will develop you relationships that will improve you relationships are bridges Relationships are bridges. Mahusiano ni daraja. That is why God is beginning by you I am not only gone to you. Mimi si Mungu pekee kwako pekee. I peke. want to introduce you to men like you Nata, that matter. Nataka kukutanguliza kwa watu kama wa wewe. Because we, after we, we, God. Maana baada ya kuwa na Mungu. To fulfill destiny. Kutimiza hati You must be introduced to men that matter. Lazima utangulizwe kwa watu wanaofaa. Please sit down. Tafadhali keti. You are coming out of the Egypt lineage. Unatoka kwa kizazi kizazi cha Misri. Am I preaching correct today here? Nahubiri inayofaa inavyofaa leo. 
You know Egypt. Unajua Misri. You know sheep. Unajua kondoo. But I am introducing you. Lakini nakutanguliza. To another lineage. Kwa kizazi kingine. Let me tell you. Acha niwaambie. God is introducing you. Mungu anakutanguliza to a lineage kwa kizazi that will give you what your bloodline could not give you. Ambacho kitakupa kile kizazi chako kingekupa. I want to say again. Nataka niseme tena. What your family tree could not give you. Kile uko wako au ungekupatia. God will give you connections. Mungu atakupa maunganisho that will give you above. Itayakayokupa zaidi. God is telling Moses. Mungu anaambia Musa. You may not know. Unaweza kosa kujua. But there is a great man. Lakini kuna mtu mkuu. Called Abraham. Anaitwa Ibrahim. He is the father. Ni baba wa nations. Wa mataifa. So you want to go to nations? Kama unataka kwenda kwa mataifa? I must connect you. Na lazima nikuunganishe. To a man. Kwa mtu. That is the father of nations. Ambaye ni baba wa mataifa. So when I connect you to Abraham, kama nitakuunganisha na Ibrahim, I'm not connecting you to a man. Sikuunganishi kwa mtu. I'm connecting you to a nation. Na kuunganisha kwa taifa. That's why the Bible says, Sio maana Biblia inasema, one will be a nation. Mmoja atakuwa taifa. There are men you meet. Kuna watu unapatana nao. Their investment is equal to a nation. Uwekezaji wao unatoshana na wa taifa nzima. Those are the kind of relationships God is bringing you away. Hiyo ni aina ya mahusiano Mungu analeta kwako. Please lift up your right hand. Inua mkono wako kwa Say Lord Jesus. Sema Bwana Yesu. Say like you read a minute Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Introduce me. Nitangulize. To relationships. Kwa mahusiano that are profitable. Ambayo ni ya kufaindi. And needed. Amen. And for my destiny. And for my destiny. Go ahead and make that prayer. Omba hilo ombi. Lord Bwana give me relationships. Nipe mahusiano. Relationships. Mahusiano. Introduce me. Nieleze. To relationships. Kwa mahusiano. That matter. Ambaye anafaidi. That will change my life. Ambaye atabadilisha maisha yangu. That will cause me fulfill destiny. Ambaye atanisababisha kutimiza hatima yangu. Somebody is praying in here. Kuna mtu anaomba hapa. Aniba na kato sata. Yes, Father, introduce me. Introduce me. Introduce me. Introduce me. Introduce me. Introduce me. Zekete pokota la bahada. Yaguske kakapa. Yagata la bahasita. Yes, 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 yes. Pray, pray, pray. Pray until you feel something is happening. Omba diske kuna kitu kinatendeka. Don't reserve anything. Usizuilie chochote. Bagada kata. Jeboroko satata ye. Zula barata managada daba. As this year draw to a close. Wakauna pokaribia kuisha. Father, introduce to me. Bilete ni tangulize. Profitable relationship. Ausiano ya kunifaidi. Introduce to me. Ni tangulize. Life changing relationship. Ausiano ya kubadilisha maisha. Destiny changing relationship. Ausiano ya kubadilisha hatima. Ministry changing relationship. Ausiano ya kubadilisha huduma. Career changing relationship. Ausiano ya kubadilisha mambo ya kimasomo. Eria mahanda barato Zoko koka kaka barata mana Rototo para dadima Jaga dadari ada gada Etesi tati alada Prendege de mahanda Presi alaga dia loda Petio sati tapa Peneria sombra edinia Peregi digi Somebody is praying in the church Relationships. Introduce me to relationships. 
that are profitable life changing destiny changing ministry changing finance changing you are burning bush the fire is beginning to be ignited the bush is beginning to burn the fire is falling the fire is falling the fire is falling the fire is falling moto ni mtakatifu inakuangukia hiyo moto inakuangukia inaangukia kichaka chako amen the fire is falling moto unaanguka the fire the fire is falling moto unashuka falling to your bush unashukia kichaka chako falling to your bush unashukia kichaka chako so the relationship can come ili uhusiano uje ende bosha baritikia kakama shatore bole ko yaloba i'm telling you it is happening inatendeka this is the season idio majira this is the timing udio wakati Father, introduce me to relationships that are profitable, that are life changing, that are destiny aligning, that are destiny empowering. I feel it falling. Yes, it's falling. It's falling on us. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Make it happen, Lord. Make it happen, Jesus. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. Answer their prayer, O God. Answer their prayer, O God. Yes, 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 yes. Life changing relationships. Mausiano ya kubadilisha maisha. Destiny shaping relationships. Mausiano ya kuunda hatima. Destiny shaping relationships. Mausiano ya kuunda unda hatima. Destiny empowering relationships. Mausiano ya kutia hatima nguvu. Father introduce me Baba nitangulize to great people kwa watu waku Introduce me nitangulize to greatness kwa uku Ni 
Lift up those hands. By the spirit of prophecy. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you today. As the privileged voice of God. Into relationships. That are destiny shaping. Destiny empowering. History changing. Enter now. Enter into relationship for greatness. Enter by force. Enter by force. Barriers are removed. Obstacles are removed. Enter now. I introduce you on behalf of Jesus to the great offices, to great men and great women, to people that are needed for your destiny. Enter now. You are introduced. You are introduced by heaven. It is done. Amen. Amen. He says, I'm introducing you. Please take your seat. I am introducing you to men that holds the destiny of universe. Men that carries the blessing. Remember he am sent to Abraham. Whoever will bless you, I will bless. Whoever will curse you, I will curse. Through you, may God give you people that will be through there. Yes. Through you, the nations of the earth will be blessed. That is the lineage God is introducing Moses into. May God introduce you to international bridges. International bridges. May God introduce you to international channels. Through him, the nations of the earth. Imagine that is what God is introducing Moses to. Please take your seats. Now, we have to close. He says, Anasema. He told Moses, I have seen the oppression of my people. You have been taking care of sheep. Now you will take care of a nation. Sasa utachunga taifa. New greater assignments. Jukumu jipia kuzaindi. God is introducing you to greater assignments. Mungu anakuingisha <laughs> kwa majukumu yaliyo juu zaidi. Can I put layman's language? Acha nieleze kwa lugha ya kuelewesha. You have served the society to this level. Umetumikia watu kwa kiwango hiki. God wants you to serve the people in a greater dimension. Mungu anataka utumikie watu kwa kiwango cha juu zaidi. Hey Moses! Musa, you have served one man called Jethro. Umetumikia mtu mmoja kwa jina Jethro. Now I want you to serve a nation. Sasa nataka utumikie taifa nzima. You have been a village man. Umekuwa mtu wa kijijini. Now I want you to become a national man. Sasa nataka uwe mtu wa kitaifa. Amen. In the name above every other name. Kwa jina lilojia majina yote. I transfer you. Na kuamisha. From the old assignments. Kusawa kwa jukumu ya kitambo. To greater assignment. Kwa jukumu kuu zaini. Greater assignment. Jukumu kuu zaini. Greater assignment. Jukumu kuu zaini. Amen. Amen. 
Bible says Musa, you have done well in serving Jethro but you can serve a nation lakini unaweza tumikia taifa Moses, Musa, you have done well. Being, being known as being a, a faithful and a good servant in the village. Kujulikana na kuwa mtumishi mzuri kijijini. He that can be trusted with the retro. Yule ambaye anaweza aminika na vindogo. Will be trusted with much. Ataaminika na mambo makubwa. I stand as a voice of God. Nasimama kama sauti ya Mungu. On behalf of Jesus. Kwa niaba ya Yesu. I introduce you. Na kuingisha. To greater assignment. Kwa jukumu na kazi kuu zaidi. Greater mandates. Kazi kuu zaidi. Greater assignment. Kazi kuu zaidi. Greater accomplishment. Amen. Greater results. Matokeo makubwa zaidi. You have served the people. Ume May you serve a nation. You have served in the village. May you serve in the city. You have served in Kenya. May you serve abroad. Somebody said greater assignment. You see, I'm not preaching. I'm doing something on behalf of Jesus. Nafanya kitu kwa niaba ya Yesu. I'm introducing you. Na kuingisha to something greater than what you have done. Kwa kitu kikubwa zaidi ya kile umefanya. Greater assignment than Oh, reverend friend. You will see. Begin counting 6 months from now. Anza kuhesabu miezi sita kutoka sasa. Like the date of today. Amen. You have served him faithfully. Umetumikia, umetumika kwa uaminifu. He want to give you a larger scope. Anataka kukupatia kubwa zaidi. A larger scope. Anataka kukupatia maeneo makubwa zaidi. Greater assignment. Kazi kubwa zaidi. You have served one man. Umetumikia mtu moja. Now you are going to serve. Sasa utatumika. You are going to deal with millions unaenda kushika milioni you have been trusted with thousands umeaminika na maelfu i speak to your account nazungumzia account zako to befriend millions ipe ipendelee ma milioni moses musa I want to introduce you nataka kukuingisha to a new assignment kwa kazi njipya you have served uh, who is this guy? You have served Jethro well. Umetumikia Jethro vizuri. But it doesn't end here. Lakini aishi hapa. There is something greater than Jethro. Kuna kitu kikubwa kushinda Jethro. There are places greater than the house of Jethro. Kuna maeneo makubwa kushinda nyumba ya Jethro. Now from the village where Jethro lives. Sasa kutoka kijijini mahali Jethro anaishi. I take you to the palace where Pharaoh lives. Na kupeleka ikulu mahali mafarao anaishi. Greater assignment. Kazi kuu zaidi. You have been handling ordinary men. Umekuwa na watu wa kawaida. Now you are under presidents and ministers. Sasa utakuwa na marais na mawakili. I am trying to break it down for you. Nataka nieleze jambo hili. I am trying to break it down for you. Samani najaribu kukuelezea jambo hili. Yes. That's what God is saying. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anasema. You have served here in the village. Umetumika hapa kijijini. You just dealt with men in the desert. Ulikuwa tu na watu kule jangwani. Now things are changing. Mambo yanabadilika sasa. You are going to another country. Unaenda kwa nchi nyingine. And this time, na huu wakati sasa. In that country. Katika hiyo nchi. Not to the village where you have come from. Sio kwa kijiji mahali umetoka. I send you to the palace. Na kutuma ikulu to deal with kings. Ukuwe na wafalme and ministers. Na wa mawaziri and witches. Na <laughs> I decree in the name of Jesus. Your mission is changing. Mission yako Your assignment is rising. Kazi yako inaenda juu. Somebody shout greater. Greater. Assignment. Assignment. Let's try one more time. Greater. Greater. Assignment. Assignment. Amen. Please take your seats. Let me let me wind up now. It is from the bush. Nikutoka kichakani. The burning bush of Moses. Kichaka cha Musa kilichowaka moto. Remember I told you. 
Kumbuka niliwaambia. The bunny bush was the initiative of God. Kichaka kilichokuwa kinawaka ilikuwa ni jambo la kuanzishwa na Mungu. The bunny bush was the initiative of God. Kichaka ilikuwa ni jambo limeanzishwa na Mungu. But the bunny bush was for Moses. Lakini kichaka kilichowaka kilikuwa ni cha Musa. Look. Tazama. Acha niseme tuko Kiswahili. Season hii kabinda gaka. Mungu anataka uingie tu kwa vitu. Ngai ele ndo dhongere thinu wa maundu. Ambazo hata ukuwa na habari ya kwamba ziko. Ile anginyoterize kana iko. Hallelujah. When Moses was coming from home that day, Musa alipokuwa anatoka nyumbani ile siku. He never knew that that will happen. Hakujua ya kwamba hivi jambo hili litatendeka. It was God's initiative. Ilikuwa ni jambo limeanzishwa na Mungu. It was God's timing. Ilikuwa katika wakati wa Mungu. But it was for Moses. Lakini ilikuwa ya Musa. You are burning bushes coming. Kichaka chako kinachowaka kinakuja. Some of you, wengine wenu, you will experience it in the dreams. Mutapata mambo haya katika ndoto. Some of you, wengine wenu, you will experience it in your own house. Mutapata katika nyumba zenu. I'm telling you it will happen. Itatendeka. You are burning bushes looking for you. Kichaka chako kinachowaka kinakutafuta. The next thing let's let's we may not uh, give explanations for the following now. Um In the bunny bush katika kichaka kilichowaka moto supernatural qualification mambo ya sio ya kawaida mambo ya kuitimisha ya sio ya kawaida Let me say this acha niseme hivi Moses Musa is not one of the hebrews si moja wa he has no grown with them he's a hebrew but he has no grown with them ni muibirania lakini hajakuwa pamoja na wengine does look let me ask you acha niwaulize reverend friend sa hii akitaka kutuma mtu the friend friend yaenda kutuma mtu thaino ataenda kanisa hii kwa hapa nyuma tafute mtu atedhi kanisa ingia aswe mtu atatafuta mtu wa hapa so, mungu wa Sasa angalia vile Mungu anafanya. Tazama vile Mungu anafanya. Anataka kutuma mtu alienda kutuma mondo kwa wana wa Israeli. Kwa si ana sia Israeli. Wana wa Israeli wako Misri. Si ana sia Israeli si Misri. Hachukui mmoja wao. Atira usomo wao. Anaenda very far. Aren vie kurasha. Anatafuta stamala. Aga swa mondo ate komenya kwa ali. God qualifying the unqualified. Mungu anaitimisha ambao hawajaitimu. That is what the bush will do for you. That's why you need it. Fanya ndio maana unahitaji kichaa Supernatural qualification. Mambo ya ya sio ya kawaida. No Bible school. Hakuna kwenda no training. Hakuna mafundisho. Look, tazama. The season that is beginning now. Majira yanayoanza sasa, you will qualify. Utaitimu. God will make you qualify. Mungu atafanya uitimu. I think here is more spiritual. I said God will qualify you. Amen. I said God will qualify you. Amen. Thank God for papers. Shukuru Mungu kwa karatasi za shule. But God will do something greater than papers. Lakini Mungu atafanya kitu kikubwa kushinda karatasi za shule. From the bush kutoka kichakani. In few moments kwa muda mfupi the unqualified in fact Moses kept telling God Mungu Musa alikaa akiambia Mungu Mbona unakaa kunifuata fuata Kwa nini unanifuata fuata hivi Unajua mimi ni stamara Unajua sijui kuongea vizuri Mbona unaka mbona usitafute mtu mwingine Unataka kusalia mtu mwingine ki And God said Musa ka, Mungu akasema I insist Natilia mkazo You don't qualify Auitimu But I qualify you Lakini nakuitimisha You are the one Ni wewe Yes. You are the one. Ni wewe that will save your family. Ambaye atakuwa familia yako. You are the one. Ni wewe that will get your family out of poverty. Atakayetoa familia yenu kwa You are the one. Ni wewe that will give your family a name. Atakayepatia familia yako yenu jina. Amen. 
supernatural. Why am I call, please sit down. Why am I calling it supernatural? Kwa nini naita isiyo ya kawaida? It doesn't take time. Aichukui munda. Doesn't take days. Aichukui siku. Doesn't take weeks. Aichukui wiki. Doesn't take a year. Aichukui mwaka. It just takes a moment. Inachukua tu munda tu. Supernatural. Ya, isiyo ya kawaida. Let me tell you. Acha nikuambie. I can see it clearly. Naona vizuri wazi wazi. Your bush has begun burning. Chaka chako kimeanza kuwaka. Amen. Look, tazama. No training. Hakuna mafundisho. No Bible school. Hakuna chuo cha Biblia. No going through process. Hakuna kufuatilia utaratibu. Thank God for process. Shukuru Mungu kwa utaratibu. God believes in process. Mungu anaamini katika utaratibu. But there are certain things. Lakini kuna mambo fulani. God will overlook the process. Mungu hata angalia utaratibu. Just a moment. Munda tu. The unqualified. Asiye itimu. Get qualified. Anakuwa anaitimu. Just a moment. Munda tu. Not months. Sio miezi. Not weeks. Sio wiki. Not years. Sio miaka. What? Just a moment. Munda tu mfupi. I'm telling you. Nakwambia. This moment umda can turn many things. Unaweza badilisha mambo mengi. You may not shake and fall. Unaweza kosa kutingizika na kuanguka. But what is happening in this house this three days? Lakini kinachotendeka kwa nyumba hii siku hizi tatu. We will give people kitapatia watu testimonies they will keep giving for the rest of their lives. Shuunda ambazo wataishi kushuhudia maisha yao yote. Look. Tazama. No time to prepare Moses. Hakuna wakati wa kutayarisha Musa. No time. Hakuna muda. No time for him to go to Bible school. Hakuna wakati wa kwenda chuo cha Biblia. No time for him to do management and administration. Hakuna uh, wakati wa kwenda kusomea mambo ya kupanga panga maneno. No. Hapana. There's no time for Hakuna muda. One short moment. Muda mfupi tu. In the burning bush. Kwa kichaka kinachowaka moto. Qualifies the unqualified. Kinafanya aitimu asiyeitimu. We don't have time. Number three. Ya tatu. From the burning bush. Kutoka kwa kichaka kinachowaka moto. Came out supernatural empowerment. Palitoka kutiwa nguvu kusiko kwa kawaida. Stamara. Mtu mwenye kigugumizi. Is going to meet Anaenda kukutana the most powerful king on the earth na mfalme mkuu sana duniani with a stake akiwa na kinjiti not with an army sio na jeshi with a stake kinjiti tu <laughs> if you are empowered kama umetiwa nguvu even your stake is powerful hata kinjiti chako kina nguvu If you are really empowered by God. Kama kwa kweli umewezeshwa na Mungu. Even you are stammering is powerful. Hata kigugumizi chako kina uwezo. He told Moses you shall remember to carry the rod. Hata akaliambia Musa utakumbuka kubeba kijiti. The rod on the ground. Ah uh, kijiti kikiwa chini could not do anything. Akingefanya kitu chochote. It is the rod in the hands of the powered man. Nikijiti kikiwa mikononi ya mtu aliyewezeshwa. You are burning bush. Kichaka chako kinachowaka. It's already beginning to catch. Tayari kimeanza kushika. Flames. Kimeanza kushika moto. You get it? It has just begun. Kimeanza Moses was so empowered. Musa alikuwa amewezeshwa sana. One man, mtu mmoja, against thousands of witches. Vindi ya maelfu ya wachawi. Peke yake, peke yake. Aliwagonga wakainua mikono. In fact siku ya kwanza, mwezi wa mbele, ili aliingia Misri hivi. Ugwa dhongere Misri. Akaambia Farao nimekuja. Era Farao na akinya. Akaangusha kijiti. Agwedia ikawa nyota nyoka kamote yake yake farao akamwambia si ungekuja na kitu kingine farao amwera uteke ukirena kendo kenge hii tumezoea tumezoea hii tunyoka nyoka tunatengeneza ga any time we want joka tudhonde kale ato kwenda akaita wachawi wake etha ago wake 
wakaangusha vijiti magwedhia mete yao kumbuka hiyo vijiti lilikana meteno ilikuwa mamla <laughs> kijiti ya Musa kamoteka Musa ilikuwa mamlaka ya Mungu kwa hiyo wadhani wanga ikwe Musa vijiti ya wachawi tumetetwa ago ilikuwa mamlaka ya uchawi kwa wachawi wae wadhani wao uogo kwa kaangusha vijiti magwe dia mete yao vikawa nyoka ya tu ikanjoka nyoka ya Musa ikaziangalia hivi nyoka ya Musa ya ilo liogo ikameza tuote ya media tuonde ikawa kijiti tena ya tu kamoterengi Mu, Musa akambeba uchawi yote ya Misri akatembea <coughs> nao kwake Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you understand? Unaelewa? Salaba yagaya. The man was so empowered. Huyo mtu alikuwa amewezeshwa sana. By the time they were leaving Egypt. Wakati walikuwa naondoka Misri. Egypt was already poor. Misri tayari ilikuwa imefanyika maskini. You will be so empowered. Utawezeshwa sana. The money they are stealing. Pesa wanayoiba. Will be transferred. Will come to you in a way. Itahamishwa kwako kupitia njia fulani. Because the wealth of the wicked. Maana nje ka samani. The wealth of the wicked. Utanjini wa waovu is heaped up for the righteous. Huwa inatayarishwa kwa sababu ya wenye haki. When you are empowered by your bunny bush, ukiwa umewezeshwa na kichaka chako, your stake, kijiti chako, will be a wonder. Kitakuwa cha kushangaza. You are stammering, kikugumizi chako, will be demonstration of power. Kitakuwa udhihirisho wa nguvu. <laughs> Number four. Ya ine. From the bunny bush kutoka kichaka kinachoaka impartation kuguzwa kupata uguzo yani impartation ni distribution of possibilities kuenezwa kwa uwezekano from one source to another kutoka kwa chanzo kimoja hadi kingine distribution of possibilities kuenezwa kwa uwezekano distribution of spiritual virtues kuenezwa kwa nguvu za kiroho yani akitoka kwa hiyo bush akitoka kwa kile kichaka kuna vitu zilikuwa zimemuingia kuna ndo shamu zongelete i like the way you interpret when you interpret it is it kichuka or kembo lakini nakaa poa inakaa inakaa ni empower ande You see I want you to see the impartation I'm talking about. Nataka uone ule uguzo ninayozungumzia. Something came from God. Kitu kilitoka kwa Mungu. Remember here, kumbuka hapa. Moses is not talking to a preacher. Musa azungumzii muhubiri. So he is not getting impartation from a preacher. Kwa hivyo apati uguzo huu kutoka kwa muhubiri. He is getting impartation from God. Anapata kutoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe. Do you know why? Unajua kwa nini? God told Moses. Mungu aliambia Musa I want to you to get 70 men. Nataka upate watu sabini Yaani ni Yesu tu alifika hiyo level peke yake. Yesu peke yake. Jesu wenga. Akasema what is in you? Au kila kile in wako. The same. Kile kile. Weka kwa watu sabini Ikira e kwa ndo mirongo mwanja. Na bando akabaki nayo. Na atigwa na keo. Na bando anabaki na kitu ya kufanya miracle signs and wonders. Akiwa amepeana kwa watu sabini Na atigwa na yelugea kurudha shiama na molilo anenga neta kwa ndo mirongo mwanja. Imagine if huyo njamaa alikuwa London. Tafakali huyu mtu alikuwa amenjawa namna gani? By the time God is through with you by Friday. Wakati Mungu atakuwa anamalizana na wewe Ijumaa. You will be so loaded. Utakuwa umejazwa sana. You will not only do well. Au utafanya vizuri tu. You will cause your brothers to do well. Utasababisha bisha ndugu zako kwa kuwa your sisters to do well utasababisha dada zako kufanya vizuri and you are still you were give things and you still have more than enough utapeana vitu na bando ubaki na vingi kuna watu wako hapa kwa ndo meaba utapeana magari na utaacha ukitembea miguu ukanenga nena ngari lote katikuokedhi magoro amen so loaded 
mtajaa sana. Yaani jamaa anaweka anapatiana hiyo kitu kwa watu sabini Akanenga na kwa ndo mrongo mwanja. Na bando anabaki na gatiwa. Na vitu za kufanya miujiza na kitu kiaweka shiama. And they were all in fact the whole nation the entire 6 million people watu milioni sita walipata kitu kutoka kwa Musa wakapata kitu kutoka kwa Musa they were baptized into Moses wakabatizwa ndani ya chaka kinachoa ni jambo la kushangaza it happened to Moses alone haikutendekea Musa peke yake it's only that it, it happened through the bible in different forms ni kwamba ilitendeka kwa biblia kwa miundo tofauti ni jambo la ajabu it's a mystery ni jambo la ajabu look tazama in second kings katika wafalme wa pili when Elijah is being taken wakati Elijah anachukuliwa Elijah told Elisha Elijah akamwambia Elisha if you see me go kama utaniona nikienda you will have double impartation utakuwa na uguzo mara ndufu the bible says biblia inasema as they went together walipoenda pamoja the chariots of fire ah uh, uh, maybe we can read verse 11 so that Then it happened as they continued on and talked. Ikatendeka walipokuwa naendelea wakiongea. The suddenly, ghafla, just like the bush of Moses. Kama kichaka cha Musa. Suddenly, ghafla, a chariot of fire. Gari ya farasi ya moto. A horses of fire. Horses. Ita, Ita, do you know a horse? Ikatokea na farasi za moto. Horses. Farasi with the fire zikiwa na moto but not consumed lakini aziteketei na sinabeba mtu yes. you people can you see what i'm trying to show unaona you unaona kile anajaribu kuonyesha the chariot magari ya farasi and horses na farasi of fire ya moto and they took elijah na zikachukua elia you see Even after the experience of Moses. Hata baada ya tukio la Musa. The, bu- the barley bush went. Kichaka kilichokuwa kinateke kinawaka moto kilienda. Because the barley bush is not a thing, it's a person. Maana kichaka kinachowaka moto sio kitu, ni mtu. The bush left. Kichaka kilienda. Remember the voice came from the bush. Kumbuka sauti ilitoka kwa kichaka. The bush doesn't talk. Kichaka huwa kiongei. <laughs> Can you see what I'm showing you? Unaona kile na kuonyesha. Yes. So l- suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. Gafra kigari cha farasi na farasi za moto zikatokea zikawatenganisha wawili. And the rider went up by will wind na into heaven. Na akaenda juu mbinguni kwa upepo mkuu. And the rider saw it. Na Elisha akaona. Remember that was the condition. Kumbuka hiyo ndio ilikuwa hali. If you see me go, kama utaona nikienda. How am I going? Naenda namna gani? Through a, a bush that is burning. <laughs> Kupitia kichaka kinachowaka moto. My father my father the chariot of Israel and the, and its horsemen so he saw him no more and the, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces i'll tell you what that means in a short while tawambia kile hiyo inamaanisha kwa mimi also took up the mantle of Elijah that pia, is impartation pia kachukua mantle ya Elia huo ni uguzo that and fallen from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan ambaye ilikuwa imeangua kutoka kwake akaenda akasimama Yordani then he took the mantle of Elijah kisha akachukua mantle ya Elia that and fallen from him iliyokuwa imeangua kutoka kwake the water akapiga maji and said akasema where is the lord god of Elijah wapi bwana mungu wa Elia and when he saw um, and when He also and struck the water. Na alipokuwa kwisha kupiga. It was divided man. this way and that way. Ikawa gawanyika pande hii na. And the Elisha crossed over. Na Elia akavuka. Elisha akavuka. Now this is the miracle. Mwanjiza uko hapa. Now when the sons of the prophets. Sasa wakati wana wa manabii. Who were from Jericho saw him. Ambao walikuwa wametoka Jericho walimuona. They say. Wakasema. The spirit of Elijah. Roho ya Elia is in Elisha. Iko ndani ya Elisha. They saw a, a man that has gone 
in a man that is left. Waliona mtu ambaye alikuwa amekwishaenda kwa mtu aliyekuwa amebaki. Unaweza kosa kutingizika. You may not fall. Unaweza kosa kuanguka. But there are eternal transactions that are taking place in your life now. Lakini kuna biashara za kimilele zinafanyika ndani yako sasa hivi. Impartation uguzo from the burning bush. Kutoka kwa kichaka kinachowaka. Finally, mwisho. The opening kufunguka of new chapters kwa sura mpya. This burning bush iki kichaka kinachowaka inakuja kukufungulia chapter mpya. Kinakuja kufungulia chapter mpya. Nimekuja tu chuka na ukatuchuka to blow the trumpets kupiga tarumbeta to declare kutangaza the old chapter is closed. Kwamba chapter mzee imefungwa. The old chapter is gone. Hiyo chapter mzee imeenda. A new chapter is opening. Chapter mpya imefunguka. Look, tazama. Verse 14. Mustadi wa 14. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him. Kisha akachukua mantle ya Elia iliyokuwa imeanguka kutoka kwake. And struck the water. Na akapiga maji. And said, akasema, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Wapi Bwana Mungu wa Elia? And when He also and struck the water. Nambande pia kupiga manji. It was divided. Ikagawanyika. This way, pande hii and that way. Na pande ile. A new chapter. Ukurasa mpya. Clear demarcation. Utofauti unaonekana. The water here is different from the water here. Manji hapa ni tofauti na manji hapa. A new chapter altogether. Ukurasa mpya pamoja. Stand on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. A new chapter Reverend, Reverend friend is already there. Look. Tazama. It did not take Moses a week. Haikuchukua Musa wiki. It did not take a month. Haikuchukua mwezi. From taking care of the sheep kutoka kwa kuchunga kondoo of one man ya mt, za mtu mmoja to taking care of a nation. Andi kufika mahali pa kuchunga taifa. Is that not a new chapter? Hiyo si ni sura mpya. Is that not a new chapter? Was in ukurasa mpya from Mindian kutoka Mindiani just a small region um, eneo ndogo tu to Egypt and Misri Egypt was the most powerful nation of the earth then Misri ilikuwa ndio taifa yenye nguvu zaidi ulimwenguni huo wakati Lift up your both hands. Inua mikono yako miwili. We just make one prayer and close. Tuombe ombi moja kisha tumalize. And then we continue tomorrow. Kisha tuendelee kesho. Lift up your hand and say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Say like like you mean you, please say like you really mean it. Oh God. Oh God. Ignite. Ignite. My bush. My bush. Now. Now. Tujaribu tena tukiwa tumeinua mikono yetu say oh God. Oh God. Ignite. Ignite. Fire! Fire! On my bush! On my bush! Now! Now! I give you 30 seconds to make that prayer. Nakupa sekunde 30 kuomba ilo ombi. Let my bush catch fire. Acha kishtaka changu kishike moto. Please lift up your voice and make that prayer. Inua sauti yako omba ilo ombi. Oh God! Hey Mungu! Put the fire on my bush. Acha moto wa kishtaka changu. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. Pray like you believe it. Omba kama unaamini. Let it come from your heart. Acha itoke kwa moyo wako. I can't remain like this. I cannot remain like this. Siwezi baki hivi. I cannot remain like this. Siwezi baki namna hii. Soko toka dawa. Ende baragana. Fire. Mashata tele. Upon my bush. Moto ndio kitaka changu. Put on fire on my bush. Weka moto kwa kichaka changu. Put on fire on my bush. Weka moto kwa kichaka changu. Put on fire on my bush. Weka moto kwa kichaka changu. Put on fire on my bush. Weka moto kwa kichaka changu. Let my bush burn. Acha kichaka changu kiwake. Let my bush burn. Acha kichaka changu kiwake moto. Let my bush burn. Kichaka changu kiwake. This is the time Lord. Ungio wakati Bwana. This is the season Lord. Haya ndio majira bwana. Let my bush burn. Acha kichaka changu kiwake moto. It is not fire in my life. Washa moto kwa maisha yangu. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. Pray like you are expecting something to happen. Omba kama unatarajia kitu kitendeke. 
Pray like you're expecting something to happen. Ayara Sandaba Zeke Teke Toko Dararade Ukalaba Hasata Barida. Yes, yes, yes. You are praying, you are praying, you are praying. Father, video Rifanya Kichaka Chamusa Kikashika Moto. Let my bush catch fire. Let my bush catch fire. Yere boko shata, yere boko shata ba, yere bekete borosaria, ekete le boho sadanesh. Woo, shande, shande, shande. Bota ire le koya risiba, soto ya kima nakala, rata kaparato siate, sosiria handa barisma, rakata boto koto koto. Brande katuna mariste ka, zokeri abuta nala bakanele ma, braka ma, braka ma, braka ma, sandraga, sandraga, basusi ke shareba, yeko seto sata. Now we got to close. We did not have time to tell you. In that short moment, the past of Moses. Kale ya Musa of involvement in witchcraft ya usiano na uchawi involvement and intermarriage with Egypt usiano na kuoana na wamisri within a short moment kwa muda mfupi tu the backload huo mzigo the things he was carrying mambo aliyokuwa ameabeba that were not necessary for his destiny ambaye hayakuwa yanaitanishika kwa hatima yake were dealt with yakaondolewa were consumed yakamezwa lift up those hands to Jesus mikono yako kwa Yesu literally fire will fall moto utaanguka kwa kweli to take away every burden kuchukua kila mzigo backload of yesterday mizigo ya jana things that are following you from where you are coming from vitu vinavyokufuata Lift up those hands and please lift them like you are lifting to the Lord. Lord Jesus, let your fire fall. Lord Jesus, sweet Holy Ghost, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. The past. Kale, that has been following your people the torment that has been following your people right now catch fire catch fire catch fire anything from your past that is running after you that want to pull you back today I release the the bunny bush I release the bunny bush I release the bunny bush I release the bunny bush let the fire burn now let the fire burn now let the fire fall let the fire fall generational forces be burned witchcraft be burned witchcraft be burned generational curses be let the fire fall. Lift up those hands. <laughs> Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
the wind of heaven is blowing in here the wind of heaven is blowing in here the ashes be watchful now lift up those hands forget about anybody else it's you and God let the fire fall let the fire fall magonjwa yare umebeba kutoka mari umetoka inashika moto sahi umaskini ya kure umetoka kumangana ya kure umetoka inashika moto sahi shota shita shata she shata ira la 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 let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. I see a falling at the back there. Shut up. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Barusata. The sicknesses are dying. Diseases are dying. Disorders are dying. Irregularities are dying. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever is following me. Okay, okay, okay. Bring it down. Bring it down a little bit. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Please say my vizuri in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is following me from my background, from where I come from, whatever is following me from my father's house, from my mother's side, from my father's side, right now, catch fire. Cut Fire, Sikamoto, Cut Fire, Yes. Magonjo ya tumbo inaondoka sahi. Complications ya tumbo inatoka. Wadada wote wekeni mikono yenu kwa tumbo. Zatabash Jeteteketa Karabaratus Kerebo Shataba Wandanda tunapoweka mikono kwa tumbo wa ndugu tuweke mikono yetu kwa vichwa vyetu Ikalaba Something will follow new now Follow new now Follow new now Follow new now Diganda shoti apu kuta na bande Lekoto sata paradi Yekete pokoto sata That thing is going, 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 going Going now, going now, going now, going now, going now, that disease has died, that complication is going, iyo shinda ya tumbo ya kuenda na kurudi, iyo shinda 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 Operation ya Jesus. Operation ya Jesus. Operation ya Jesus. Na. 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 Bring them out. Bring them out. Ye koto shata. Ye kata ya na baharadis. Ye ka shata ba. That thing will not go come back again. It's going permanently. It's going permanently. Continuous ending. It's going now. It's going now. That continuous ending is going now. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going now. It's going now. It's going now. I see migraine going. Amen. I see migraine. That constant and the cleaving now. Akura shata paradise. Akura shata paradise. Yeketeke shata pa. Ilala baha shata. Jekesh. Brakadama ha shata. 
Zeketobosha Ikalaba Hasatadish. Yes, yes. Anything that is not consistent with the word of God is going, is living now. Living your stomach. Living your stomach. Living your chest. Living your blood. Living your joints. Living your legs. Living your body. Somebody is being healed of eyes problem. I see scales coming out of your eyes. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God. We are grateful. For what you have begun doing in our lives. Thank you. Thank you. We honor you. We give you glory. We can't touch it. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We take the victory and we give you all the glory. We take the victory but we give you all the glory. You have done everything well. We are grateful. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you for taking away Weights that was following us from where we come from. Thank you for arresting the antas of our destiny. Antas of our souls. Antas of our children. Antas of our destiny. Thank you for arresting them. Thank you for the victory. We give you glory. We celebrate you King Jesus. Now. Before I release you. Yeah, please help them to sit. Before I let you go, if you are here Kama uko apa, and you have never given your life to Jesus, na maisha yako kwa yesu, the greatest bringer, bring her back. Please place your hand on her stomach. Something will leave now. What are you doing there? We order you to leave and never come back. Go! Now, Sasa, if you are here, kama uko apa, you have never given your life to Jesus. Yako kwa yesu. Or karundi nyuma. Ama karundi nyuma. There is nothing good to go back to. Akuna kitu kizuri cha I wish to pray with you as I close this service. Na you are saying, Pastor, Nasema I know. Nanjua. I go to church, yes. But I've never made things right with Jesus. I want to pray with you now. Just walk in front from wherever you are and I'm going to pray with you. You have never given your life to Jesus. Or you are saved and because because of issues you slid back. Just come. Joe. Let me pray with you as we close this service. Right now. It's a personal thing. It's not a collective thing. Just walk in front. I pray with you. There are four people that need to make things right with Jesus in this service. I'm waiting for you. 
na wangoja just come jo just come jo jo usipeleke siku ingine Mungu amekuonyesha ya kwamba kwa interested na maisha yako Kaina akuonetie na batana mtoere wako please come oka Jo, don't take it another day. Usipeleke kwa siku nyingine. It's now. Ni sasa hivi. Yes. It's now. Ni sasa hivi. It's now. Ni sasa hivi. I'm waiting for three more. Na ngoja wengine watatu. And they are here. Na wako hapa. Please come. Jo. It's not something about us. It's personal thing. Sio kitu kuhusu kuhusu sisi ni jambo la kibinafsi. They are here four of them. Watu waine. Two more. Wawili wamebaki. Two more. Wawili wamebaki. Come, come. Jo. Come. 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 Jo. This is the day. Hii ndio siku. Mungu amekuonyesha ako interested na maisha yako. Kaina akuonetie na batana mtoro wako. Yes. There's a lady kuna msichana you have two sisters unandanda wawili these are the people that keeps pushing you back when you want to move ahead with god hawa ni watu ambao ukawa kikuvuta nyuma wakati unataka kusonga mbele na mungu they keep fighting you fighting you wow. and and you are there it's only god who can help you ni mungu pekee anaweza kusaidia i'm waiting for that lady na ngoja huyo msichana Now you can doubt that God is talking about you. Wezi tiria shaka jambo hilo. Mungu anaongea na wewe. And that is not anything to be ashamed about. Na hilo si jambo la kuaibikia. Yes. Please come. Tafadhali njo. This time God want to establish you. Huo wakati Mungu anataka kukudhibitisha. Want to establish you. Anataka kukudhibitisha. Want to help you and establish you. Anataka kukusaidia na kukudhibitisha. I'm waiting for one more person. Na ngoja mtu mwingine mmoja. One more person. Mtu mwingine mmoja. This is the greatest moment. Huu ndio wakati mkuu zaidi. Ka. Jo, I'm waiting for you. Nakungoja. Let's make them feel like they are doing the right thing. of this house please pray with them thank you thank you thank you sir ah naomba utarudi hivi ombi kwa yako tafadhali kila mmoja ya kwa sauti kila mmoja sema bwana yesu bwana yesu bwana yesu bwana yesu nakushukuru asante asante ewe mungu baba kwa kuchoma yesu kristo kwa kuchoma yesu kristo kwa sababu yangu leo leo nimeamini kwa moyo wangu na ninakiri kwa kinywa changu Yesu ni bwana Asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa Andika jina langu kwa kitabu cha uzima futa jina langu katika kitabu cha mauti asante yesu asante yesu nijaze nijaze na roho wako na roho wako neema yako neema yako inisaidie inisaidie kutoka leo kutoka leo nimeokoka nimeokoka katika jina katika jina la yesu kristo la yesu kristo amen amen glory to god father in the name of jesus baba kwa jina la yesu You helped us. And we are where we are today. Na tuko mahali tulipo leo. We ask you that you help them. Tunakuomba kwamba uwasaidie. We ask you that you empower them. Tunakuomba uwawezeshe. We start and where they have started. Tulianza mahali tulianza. And we have come this far. Na tumefika umbali huo. By your help. Kwa msaada wako. Help them Lord. Wasaidie Bwana. Fight their battles. Pigana vita vyao. Push 
back whatever has been pushing them. Sukuma, nyuma, kile now take their battles. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. We decree Tunatangaza. from today leo. they will only move forward. Mbele tu. Nothing will push them back Hakuna again. Kitu nyuma tena. They will stand for you. We speak blessing. The gift of salvation cha is established in their lives. Kwa in Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 Who talks to them? All right. Uh, uh, can we use this door? Is it possible? Yes. Let's kuna mtu atatuongelesha hapa kidogo, alafu turundi tena. Two Mondays remaining. Siku mbili we are looking for one to see what God is out for. Tunatazamia kuona kile Mungu anataka kufanya. Right now, let's package our offerings. Sasa hivi tutayarishe sadaka zetu and serve the Lord. Natutumikie Bwana. Because the Lord is blessing us. Maana Bwana anatubariki. Yes. We don't have if you current your tithe. Kama any day in the church is the right day to pay your tithe. Uh, you don't have to wait until Sunday. Sio lazima ungoja Jumapili. something to me with that keyboard. You, you shouldn't. Tomorrow, let us tear acoustic and then you touch them when I'm preaching. Is God blessing us? Yes. It's out for big things. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for speaking to us. We are honoring you and giving you glory for speaking to us, for ministering to us, for what you are doing among us. We acknowledge it is you are doing is marvelous in our eyes. It's only you that can do these things. And we are honoring you for that. We are serving with a part of what you have given to us. Touch our finances and bless our giving. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, let's walk to the stage and bring our offering. Let's walk to the stage and bring 